I got COVID. Again. Not like I'm going out in public licking flagpoles in people's necks and shit, but here we are checking out some music because the only way to get rid of the virus is blasting heavy music right into your esophagus. That's what we're gonna do. But on a serious note, guys, Lorna Shore just dropped their new song called Pain Remains Part 2. We checked out part one. It was literally probably one of the most emotional Lorna Shore songs that I've heard. And now we're getting the other side of the story, which I think is going to be even more intense because this video was age restricted, talking about suicide, talking about death. And that's one of the main reasons that I love Lorna Shore so much is they make music that is impactful for people's lives. They make music that people can relate to. We need more bands like this. So with all that being said, let's dive into it. After all I've done, I'll disappear. Hope you guys are having a kick ass day. Let's go. It's like that sensation where seven seconds into the song, you're like, I love this song. God damn, they didn't wait. The lyrics, you need to be checking out the lyrics while listening to this. Oh my god, the drummer! Fucking hell! Real quick, I think the song does a fantastic job of drawing a parallel with the feelings that come with losing somebody, right? Some of these lyrics already that a lot of y'all may not know are, it's like the world I knew keeps passing unlike the void I've become. Picking up pieces left from another life, this fleeting memory is everything you left behind. Just having those memories replay in your mind time and time again, that old life that you had with that person that is now gone, whether that's a love lost, whether that's a death of a family member, friend, whatever it may be, just that resurfacing of those emotions is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, and I think Lorna Short does a really good job of depicting that because they have these this intensity, this angry nature, and then they have that dynamic aspect of it, which really takes like a softer tone where people, we have that same type of thing, right? Whenever you lose somebody, you have periods of just intense anger. And then you have periods of sadness, which are more melancholy, more reserved, more slower. This band just is on a whole nother level, honestly. Oh God, seeing him just have that, that pain in his eye. Oh my god, dude. I can't handle watching that type of stuff. Fuck. 
You know, for me, it's like a lot of times the music video takes away from the song. In this, it totally adds. It just supplements the song very nicely. And in my mind, the song goes so fucking fast. And that, again, parallels what those people feel like who have lost someone. Where it feels like life is just flying fucking by. Different things, different people, holidays coming up. It's so fast paced. So while the world is just going and it's consistently moving and it's moving on, we as people who have lost someone are just stuck in the same place, this purgatory. So again, the song does a great job of depicting the human emotion whenever we lose people. It's such an interesting band. They're so catchy, but I can't understand the damn word they're saying. You need the lyrics pulled out. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that, dude. Honestly, a sound of hope, right? A little bit of sound, like a little sound of uh, hope and prosperity. Oh, oh. They're so fucking talented. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. After all of my pain, this fucking world is I can't, I literally can't watch that, dude. That is so hard to watch. I mean, human emotions, right? Whenever things become so unbearable, having that quick escape route, I mean, it's, in all honesty, it's its not the answer, but it's just, its sometimes it's comforting that that's there. Um, seriously, guys, if you're going through something like that, if you've lost somebody, if you feel like it's just too much, please reach out. I'll put a link to a phone number down below you can call. If you're feeling like everything is just too much, um, the song strikes a lot of emotions for me, man. It's like it, it twofold, right? It makes you think of two things. One of which it makes you want to hold your loved ones close because you never know. We're not, it's not even that we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised the next five minutes, right? So really show appreciation for those you love. Really let everybody know how you, how you feel about them. Um, Going days without talking to people, it's just not, it's not okay. So really cherish your loved ones, your friends, your family, your dog, yourself, right? And then secondly is just depicting how much pain there is. And the song is called Pain Remains. No matter how much you move on, how much time has passed, there's still pain that remains. And I feel like for Lorna Shore to use their platform to put out a message like that, it's just fucking insane. It's, it's exactly what we need. Um... And I, I, I just want to be there to let you guys know that I, I'm here to listen. A lot of times it's like, if you're going through suicidal thoughts or ideation, it's like, yeah, it's going to be okay. People say that. It's like, no, it doesn't, that doesn't fucking help. So I don't know what I can say if you're going through something like this. But what I can let you know is reach out to me in any DM. Okay, DM me on any social media platform. And uh, I'm here to listen. I can provide that for you guys. So 
That being said, Lorna Shore comes back with another fucking slapper. Amazing from a musicality standpoint, but even more impactful from just the message. God, songs like these are tough to listen to but they're necessary. So with all that being said, a little bit more serious of a reaction today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song, this group, this video in general. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, you beautiful sons of bitches. Love you guys. Peace!